Uh, thanks for staying with us right here on Sunrise. Okay, so our next guest is a man of many talents. Roger O. Williams is a former stagehand, stage manager, and props master in the theatrical field. But he's also a U.S. military veteran, a screenwriter, trained actor, and author of Turn Back Blow, Murder for Sale, and Love Will Survive, which he will be telling us all about this morning. Good morning, Roger. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning sir. <laughs> you know, yeah. I have to I have to start with the synopsis, right? It says a poor one-legged Jamaican Rastafarian boy and a white Catholic girl must choose between their religion and the love they have for each other. This is the basis of love will survive. How did you come up with this idea? <laughs> you, you know, um I have always um find a war, a movie that is set in a war zone, a romance that is set in a war zone, interesting. But most of these war movies, they are like set in World War II. So I was like, how would it be to set uh, a romance story, you know, a love story in a, one of Jamaica's most gritty and bloodiest period? And the 1980 government, government election is the one that is the thing that I, I, I said, you know what, I think that is the best thing that's closest to war. So in 2019, when I was looking for a third book, I remembered about a screenplay that I wrote in semester two at the New York Film Academy called Love in the Time of War. That's what the initial screenplay was titled. So I said, you know what, I'm going to adapt that screenplay into this book. And that is how the book itself um, manifested mm. from the screenplay. That is very, very interesting, intriguing, that you would yes, write an intriguing story in that, that period. But I mean, your comment earlier spoke volumes about why, because you've heard, observed that love stories in, 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 in war time, in, in movies with set in, 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 in war situations. But I want to ask though, I mean, you have written um, uh, two animal books, you have written a suspense murder, and you've also, well, this is the first time you're writing a, a romance story. Um, how different were they and why? Okay, first of all, um, I'm an animal, animal rights advocate, so I always include um, animal rights message in any book that I write, even in the, the gritty book, Murder for Sale. You know, my first book is the book that raised awareness of animal cruelty in Jamaica. If you notice, over a couple of years, animals, especially mongrel dogs, have rights. Mm -hmm. That is credited to my book, Turn Back Blow. So, but I don't want to look like, I don't want to come off as a writer that is stuck in one genre. Mm. So I said, you know what, I am going to write a murder book, the next, for my second book. But I just only write a book, per se. I like to educate people um, via every concept that I write. So it's like, I would say, okay, animal cruelty needs to be addressed. Contract killing, crime poverty, how can I um, use these um, themes, these gritty themes, these dark themes, and make them into an educational um, mm. story? So that's how three different, four different books um, come about. Mm. Because I love when people um, hear about my topic. People normally say, Roger, you book, your book makes a, a, a comfort, um, a, what you call it now, a, um, a discussion piece, mm -hmm. a conversational piece. It's, Mm -hmm. So you'll find my three books, they will make people think from a different angle. So that's how I came up with four different books. Mm -hmm. Interesting. And, you know, speaking of something for discussion, yes, this, this book is set in Jamaica, but you've also decided to tackle, uh, you know, the interracial relationship. Uh, what made you decide to go with that uh, theme? Okay. When I came... Um, I feel like it, it makes an interesting idea, and it's just not interesting. It is an idea that is out. It, 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 the topic is very sensitive because you still have people who turn up their nose towards people who go outside of their race and religion. So I think it would make a very interesting topic to put it in this typical war time because it is universal. Absolutely, yeah. it is. It is universal indeed. But you know, let me let me ask you, Roger. You are you are multifaceted. You've written books, you've, you've written the, a, a screenplay, and you've also acted in Class of Seventy, which I watched. Um, why why uh, 
which, which part of the art and which one of the arts do you prefer? Acting, writing? Um, it, it's kind of a tough one because I really love all of them because acting is also my passion. Um, I just recently started getting into directing and I love that too. But I see where writing, I have the control to make a difference in the world because I am the one controlling the pen. I'm the one who's writing these topics. Where as a play, you have to take the direction from the director. You have to go based upon what the, what the writer says, especially if you're doing professional theater. Now, when I'm writing an issue as animal cruelty, love versus hate, I can tell my story mm -hmm. from the angle. And I, I also include things that I go through emotionally so I can put part of my story in these topics. So that's why I, I think writing is what I'm passionate about. Mm -hmm. And also, for me, writing is therapeutic. Mm -hmm. mm. Because, you know, in the military, I, I, I'm, uh, I suffer from depression back in 2016 and still go through that. So if I can put in what I feel and what I'm going through, go through in these characters, then I know that I am not the only one who is yeah. going, to ex it's going through this stuff. It's going to speak volumes to other people. And I just want to put them in a positive light. And you may know it may prevent somebody from taking their life. So, so yes, true. Yes, and who knows, yes. we may see, see this as a movie one day. Uh, yes, a Why not? Play, yeah. <laughs> We're avail ourselves to act in it, you know? Tammy and I. <laughs> Why not? Why not? All right, listen, uh, thank you so much for, you so for much. joining us today. And we will definitely be looking out for your book and all your books um, and yeah. possibly movies too. Uh, Why yes, not? Yes, <laughs> It's coming up. Yeah. Our guest has been thank Arthur you. Roger O. Williams. There's more sunrise after this break. Thank you, Roger. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you.